Hi everybody, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today, I'm going to be making my strong brewed coffee. Um, it's the same recipe that I've been making for over 10 years. It's a very popular soap here. It's exfoliating because of the ground coffee that is in it. And um, I used to make it in my really tall 20 pound molds. Um, today, I'm going to be making it in a 25 pound slab mold this mold, <laughs> this big guy. Uh, the reason why I decided to change my mold was because um, with the big molds they're really tall and deep and whenever I try to do an in the pot swirl um, the colors kind of blend in and the soap turns all brown and I like this soap to have really brown coffee colored parts with uh, swirled beige or like off-white that looks kind of milk blending into coffee. So let's take a look at the ingredients that go in this soap. Alright, so in my big pot here are already blended some beeswax. Um, the beeswax, here it is. This is the beeswax that I get from the local beekeeper out here, from the very same bees that um, buzz around the flowers around my house in the summer, so that's great. And uh, also coconut, palm, almond oil, uh, and vitamin E. And then I will later add, uh, here I have some olive oil some extra virgin olive oil and then my additives I will use honey uh, coming from the same bees as the beeswax and here I have some colloidal oatmeal it's actually ground very finely ground oatmeal and this here is some monsoon coffee uh, it's a special coffee that's made here locally in the islands. Of course, the coffee beans are imported, but they, they are tossed into seawater in the spring, and then they are left to ferment for many weeks. And when you actually drink this coffee, it gives a very much more mild taste. It's not as bitter as a regular coffee. It's really, really good. Um, I decided to use monsoon coffee in my soaps because it's a process that's done here locally and people always like to have local products in the soaps that they buy. Even though they're all handmade here, they like to have like stuff like honey and beeswax that's local. So let's go ahead and make this soap.
right, so I'm finished with this soap for today. I will cover it so that it can rest for the next 24 hours and gel and all that and keep its heat. And I will be back with you um, tomorrow to unmold and cut. See you then. The soap has been um, unmolded. It's been sitting for about 18 hours. You can see the design that I made on top, but uh, on the other side it's mostly plain and coffee colored. You can see the coffee grounds. It's really nice. I will put it on my log splitter and then we will reveal the design that is inside. To make the soaps the size that I want them, I need to pass them again on the loaf splitter. To do so, I am marking the middle of each loaf to make sure that everything's equal. I saved a couple bars that I'm placing back on the soap cutter because I'm going to cut their, them in thirds and those will be uh, sample sizes that I include in some of the orders that are placed online. So I use a little uh, plexiglass stamp and I need a rubber mallet like this and some rubbing alcohol. So I will spray my soaps. I dried a little bit while I was away. So, nice little soaps. Ah, can't see. Can you see? <laughs> With my logo on it. Um, so if you place an order online, uh, let's say in about a month, because right now I'm still uh, sending out the Magdalene's Lavender samples, uh, you will get either one of these or one of my Minty Morning Wind sample. Um, if you have a preference, you can always write in the comment section when you place your order, I'd like the coffee sample or I'd like the Minty Morning Wind sample. And then um, I'll try to read your note. If you don't write anything, I'll just pick a soap for you. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.